Do you know that I only get excited for vegan food when it's breakfast related? I don't really get excited for dinner or lunch menu, but I get so excited for breakfast menu. So open up your mind and sing. We just want big family. I throw my dinner at all in there. They said that they were making another restaurant. Do you think this is it? Maybe. Well, definitely I'm getting waffles now. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And I'll come back when she's here so yes. that you can take your order. Thank you. Oh my gosh. This waffle is looking. Oh, it looks good. It's so crispy outside, but it's really soft inside. It's like the best waffle. Mm. 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 Yeah. Vegan butter. Oh my god, oh my god. Did she leave? Oh, I was craving for this for so long. <laughs> you remember why you didn't like it? Maple syrup would have been so much better. I wonder if they have maple syrup on the menu. Oh, ho, 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 French toast. With strawberry. Because <sighs> I love it. So cute. It looks nice. <laughs> it's like a little dress. We got a shipment fam Green Chef. What is Green Chef? Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well easy and affordable with plans to fit every kind of your lifestyle. It comes with a recipe card, as you can see. And the website, there is plan for two people, four people, and six. It came with three menu cards. Gives you a step-by-step -step guide with photos so you can't really like mess it up, you know? But we're gonna cook the stuffed bell peppers. Oh, is this it? No. What is this one? It's the kale, kale and, bean and bean stuffed, stuffed peppers. peppers. Stuffed peppers? Seriously, as a vegan? That's crazy. Oh, and the, the ingredients come um, pre-measured and mostly prepped. Is that what you like? Yeah, it's really, <laughs> it's really easy to cook. But you like prepping food. Not all the time. <laughs> Nobody likes Ooh. peeling carrots. That's true. Depending but look, it's like pre-measured. Meal kits are wonderful nowadays. Look at this. It just come like perfect so you don't waste any food. Bell pepper. People always say like this Ugh. has like so much plastic though. Yeah, but you could always recycle them. Yeah. Because if you go onto their website or even like on the packages, it's it'll tell you where you could go. What else? Ooh, look at this. Yeah, we're preheating the oven. That's what that sound is in the oven today. Ooh, cashew parmesan. Ooh. That's really good. Have this you is, tried that? This, one, this one's good too. This is good too. Cream, creamy vegan chimichurri sauce. Chimichurri. And right. So the, this is a portion for two. We'll be cooking for four today. So I'm going to open up another packet that has exactly the same stuff. Go to Green Chef 
.us slash mommytang10 and use code mommytang10 to get 10 free meals plus free shipping on your first box. I feel like there's not much like chopping involved with this recipe at all. Everything's just, just like like so easy, right? Yeah, it's just it's just the kale. Yeah. And the cilantro. That's it. Okay, let's do it. They contain a variety of like organic ingredients here. I know, right? Yeah. That's awesome. They cost fortune if you eat this in the restaurant. You know that. Yeah. Organic anything organic meal in New York City. Yeah. It's like. But if you look at the ingredients too. Yeah. Like the cilantro and even the kale. Yeah. They look very high quality. Yeah, they do. The ingredients look really nice. <laughs> All right. Let's start with rice. Mhm. Mm okay. Let's go. All right, Mr. Chef. <laughs> you gotta cook for me. Are you gonna cook for me? Yeah. All right. All right. You take over. I'll be your assistant. But it's not that. It's not that hard though. <laughs> it's really easy. De stem. You know how you de stem it? Like this. <laughs> oh, nice. You think? All right. And then what do we do? Chop. Yeah, just bite size. My bite size or your bite size? Or everybody else's bite size? <laughs> that is the question. Oh my god, so much green. Whee. All right. What next? Cilantro. The organic cilantro we have. You said take out the stem and the mince, or not mince. Um, you could just uh, roughly chop it. Roughly chop? Yeah, not, yeah. But like, this is what's great about this. Like, you could follow the instruction, but at the same time, you could like do whatever you like. There are no rules here. Okay. Okay. Sancho looks good with black. Ooh, okay. Next. Like I noticed, Green Chef, they give you those ingredients like this. I love it. Instead of like anything processed. You know, they don't give you anything processed here. I love it. What are we doing? Mince it. Mince it? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm doing it with cilantro. I hope it's okay. Look the cilantro it. goes on the rice anyways. Anyways? <laughs> Wait, Hangi, when you mince it, do you mince it like this? Or do you mince it like this? I do the second way. This way? Yeah. Always? Yeah. Like this? No. Yeah. Or like this? Or like this? <laughs> <laughs> I think if you do that, it's too messy. But it's so not satisfying. Like, you hear nothing here, look. You don't hear noise, but you no, do No, you gotta go like this. You, gotta, you could make a lot of noise. Oh, so you go like this? Go like this. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> that's special. You're left handed, so. Remember, I burned this? I know. How did you burn that, anyways? Huh? How did you burn that, anyways? I was making something for you. <laughs> and then you called me. And I said, it's just trash. We'll get a new one. You're like, no. It's no. <laughs> <laughs> making it hot, so. No, you did everything by the book. Like, if it was me, I would have put it, the, put the garlic already. You have to make it hot. I know, I have no patience, I just do it. Nice. I'll help you. It's turning brown, so you're gonna add the rice. I'll burn like, like, ever. That looks amazing already. Is that even close? Right? Wait until it boils. Oh, we gotta add some salt. Do we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Asians really don't. Well, not Asian, I should say Korean. It's because the food that they eat is so salty, anyways, with the rice. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I guess there's a little bit more of prepping to do. So, what do we do? Just cut the bell pepper in half. Yeah. And then? Take the seeds up. Okay. 
I'm not so excited. Stuffed bell peppers. Kayla loves stuffed bell peppers. She's actually good at making it too. I don't think she makes it like this, but she made it for me one time. Or was it you that made it for us? Yeah, I made it. <laughs> and then Kayla loved it. <laughs> That's what it was. Okay, never mind. <laughs> We're gonna roast them now. Oh, we just like this? Baking sheet we have. I try to light, lightly oil. This? Mm hmm. Remember last time you was like, what, what do you need that brush for? I was like, I need it. <laughs> do you remember? Yeah. See, this is what I need it for. A lot of times I'm like looking at the kitchen tools and Hungi's like, mm, do you need that really? I'm like, yeah. Okay, what do I do? Oh, and then put the bell peppers. Like this? Side on like this? Face down, yeah. Do I oil this too? Yeah. Ooh. See, last year's good comes in handy. <laughs> You got that home goods or Amazon? I got an Amazon. I'm like Amazon queen. I think Amazon should give me like an award or something for using everything for Amazon. Okay, and then like this. Mm -hmm. Do we pepper it? Okay. All right, let's put it in the oven. Now we gotta... Gotta wash the beans. You don't even need a scissor for this. It's a squeeze four corners together. I'm literally gonna try this. Squeeze four corners together. Tear. Oh my gosh, look at this! I was like, where's my scissors? You don't need it, this is so cute. I've never ever done that in my life. I always have to use scissors. Ooh, look at this. Nice and fresh. All right, do I just pour here without anything underneath it? <laughs> Ooh, do you want to try it? It feels actually good. It feels like you accomplished something very unaccomplishable. Does that make sense? <laughs> Alright, you know you have to rinse them out really well because you know the bean juice gives you the farts. You know that, right? Alright, I'm gonna go rinse it out. Alright. Beans are rinsed. I'm gonna drain them. So now we're gonna make the filling. Okay. For the peppers. You're gonna saute for me, right? Mm and toasty and then we stuff them yeah we flip it over ah! <laughs> with the brush <laughs> are you really giving me a brush oh, hey, to hey. flip oh my gosh oh the brush did come in handy a help would be nice here it's okay if you spill on the side <laughs> that's all right Cashew Parmesan. That's good, that's good. Yeah, so they have this is for a variety of lifestyles. Yeah, like keto plus paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, and Mediterranean for those who simply want a little bit more balance. So they have everything here. Back in the oven? Yeah, for a little bit. Ooh, the rice is done. Our favorite part of it, the rice. Ooh, look at that. Are you going to add some cilantro in there? You could add like most of it and then put put some on the garnish later. Yeah. Hunky, why are you so smart? Oh, that smells good. All right, let's plate it just like the picture. There are three of us. For puppy. Ooh. Ooh, look 
at that. That looks amazing. Ooh. Do you want more? Yeah. Drizzle on the top. I love chimichurri. Your sister makes the best one. Shout out to your sister that <laughs> makes chimichurri all the time for us. Kale and bean stuffed peppers. Here, puppy. There you go, puppy. Ooh. Let's make some strawberry lemonade. Ooh. This is so good for milkshakes. It's also good for everything. Um, pancakes, waffles. stuck at home mm -hmm. but we have like nothing to eat i think mm. it's because we're getting our car fixed or something right there's like nothing in the fridge but then there was this beautiful brown bag i like, know right we have a we have green chef it's green chef that us slash mommy tank 10. right password is mommy tank 10. that's right Ready for the last bite? You killed it. Mmm.
Do you know how you could tell you're in a good relationship or in a bad relationship? Yeah. Well, you could just tell. It ends up. Answer? Mm -hmm. They could fart. Mm -hmm. And they oh, love it. <laughs> when you have a relationship, you say, that person is mine now. Uh -huh. Right? But a bad guy or bad girl would say, well, you're mine now, so you do whatever I tell you to do so I could be happy. Mm -hmm. Right? Versus a good relationship is you're mine now, so I'm going to treat you kind and nice so, so we could both be happy. Mm -hmm. I get your relationship be there. You're mine, therefore you listen to me. Versus you're mine and I'll treat you kind so you could be happy and we could be happy. That sounds good. That sounds good, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Look at that. You're not nice to me. I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Mama Sita, go! <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> when you do something, it's so funny. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> New one that makes you laugh. Oh, perfect! Siento tu cuenta, Why is that funny? <laughs> <laughs>